Hey everybody, Chad Houston with TeamQuadzilla.com here to share a mental fitness thought of the day because we know healthy living starts between your ears. If you've been following along, the last few videos have described the first two of four steps of slaying your addiction or bad habit. We've already talked about step one, which is to decide. To decide that enough is enough and determine to cut the thing out of your life, roots and all. Then step two, of course, is to describe and identify, which is about the trigger for the negative behavior. Figuring out what is the stressor that drives you to the negative behavior. So today, we will address step three on how to break a bad habit. And that is simply to make advanced decision. Have you ever tried really hard to not think about the thing that you don't want to do only to find that you are even more drawn to it yeah me too and i think it's pretty normal thinking about defeating the bad habit will often send you right into the thing that you're trying to avoid so the trick is to replace the thoughts with something else this takes some practice but it really works but now here's where it gets real ultimately you need to choose your next move when the trigger hits. It's not enough to say, no, I won't go to the pantry when I'm stressed. You've got to replace the action of eating junk with a positive action, such as going for a walk or munching on baby carrots or something like that. So having decided your course of action before the trigger strikes makes it way easier to choose well in the heat of the battle. Making an advanced decision is creating a new association for the trigger. You likely can't make the trigger go away, so you have to relate the trigger to something positive instead. So give your brain a new focus and take it a step further and include a trusted friend to help hold you accountable. Yeah, I know it might make you uncomfortable to share what you're doing, but a couple things happen when you are accountable to someone else. One, it confirms that you are serious about replacing a bad habit. And two, you now have a trusted friend who cares about you and will be there for you when the times get tough. It's really hard to replace bad habits all by yourself. So ask someone to help you be accountable and maybe even invite them to slay their bad habit with you. An option I personally find effective is to pray. I tell God that I'm triggered and that I need help to choose well. Simple meditation in that moment distracts the focus from self and often inspires something better than giving in. So there you go. Step one is decide. Step two, describe and identify. Step three, make advanced decision. So tune in next time for the final step in breaking your bad habit. Thanks for watching your Team Quadzilla mental fitness thought of the day.